I'm a war veteran. Are you happy with how the government is uh, taking over your welfare? Because we have read in the media that some are dying as destitute. The school fees for the war veteran children is not being paid. I think, um, you know, during the war, uh, from the Zanla side, we were more than 30,000 who were trained. Um, and then we had another 30,000 recruits who were waiting for training at Independence. So that gives you a large number, 60,000. Now, I was uh, in two military camps. Usually I was in the schools. I was never much in, in military camps. But I did go to two military camps, Pungwe Three and Osibisa. And I immediately tried to do educational survey of the recruits. And what I found at that time, this was around 1977, was that 50% of recruits were illiterate and 50% had Form 2 and above. Uh, so what does that mean, you see? Um, illiterates, uh, I already mentioned to you that only 35% of bl black children and black adults went to primary school. Mm. So the other 65% would be illiterate, you know? And then what was happening uh, just prior to in independence, maybe starting with uh, 1973 when the war started to escalate was whole schools, secondary schools near the border crossed to Mozambique for training. So that accounts for the kind of population profile, 50% illiterates, 50% with Form 2 and above. Uh, how many graduates? Uh, I think we had a movement amongst graduates, uh, including my students and some of my colleagues, that we also must be in the liberation struggle. So I think there were maybe a hundred or more graduates. Um, I, th I think now when we look at the nature, the composition of the war vets, the ones who are suffering uh, literally have no clothes, cannot pay their school fee, would be those without jobs. Yeah. Uh, why didn't they get literate and go to school and get educated? Uh, we had some opportunities for them. When I was minister and before I was minister, we spent two million dollars a year for war vet scholarships. And I think something like uh, 10,000 war vets used those scholarships. But then there were those who didn't. Yeah. So I, I think it's unfortunate to uh, look at uh, war vets. Not all war, war vets are poor. Huh? Some are millionaires today. But those who were not well educated, not well trained, did not get agricultural courses, uh, were not given land. Of course, they are very badly off and they cannot uh, send their children to school. Uh, I think this issue of school fees is another problem. In the 1980s and 1990s, we had free primary education, but somehow after sanctions, it eroded. So now we have probably something like 60,000 children a year who don't go to primary school. So we're get, getting a new wave of illiterates. You know, we thought we had conquered illiteracy uh, when we got free primary education, and we had more than 100 percent enrollment. But now, with uh, something like 22 percent of kids not being in primary school, uh, it's a big blow. Uh, so we should have kept the policy of free primary education. There was no reason for us to just throw away something good, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, the last...